back guys um i just wanted to touch base with you guys um i'm really excited because i have got my um i am doing makeup now for occasions like special occasions on people and i am starting that in april especially for prom season so i'm really hyped about it and i already got like a little kit started I have a lot of makeup already but i just got like all this stuff i need um anyways i am really excited about that but today is unfortunately selena quintanilla's um passing it has an anniversary today it's not a good anniversary i would say um she has 21 years of death and i kind of wanted to play um with my face today and kind of play tribute to her by putting on some red lipstick and some beautiful wing liner and a couple like maybe not even eyeshadow because i don't remember her having lots of eyeshadow but if i do it's gonna be smoky browns because it was really natural looking in her eyelids so so let's move on um yeah I'm gonna start as always with my next primer and I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. So the music that my neighbors are having on right now. I'm sorry if you can hear my mom taking care of a baby who's being really like a crybaby, which sucks for my mom, but he likes me. So she's happy when I'm there because he's happy as long as I'm there. I'm using the one, you can find this online, it's the Everlasting Foundation. This is really lightweight and I really like it because it's exactly my skin tone. I use light ivory in my skin tone and you can barely even tell that I'm wearing any makeup. It's not cakey or anything. And I don't have any um, scars or any problem with my skin other than the fact that I get like allergic little bumps. So when I do apply this, it looks really pretty and natural looking. I am going to do my eyebrows today with a 266 brush. In Anastasia Beverly Hills, as always. I was like, oh my gosh. I was wondering if any of my um, followers are Latinos, because I sure am. Although I don't look like I am. A lot of people don't think I am, but I sure am. I went overboard here, but it's okay. Do you guys like my nails? I know that's really random. This is how they look. They're like flowers on blue. I did them last night. I suck at doing like no tutorials, but once I get my camera, I might do them. I don't know. It depends what you guys want. Oh yeah, I'm using Urban Decay's um, eyeshadow primer. I am going to try the Air Patrol one soon. I heard good things about that one. <laughs> so I'm going to do something really subtle with my chocolate bar. Just really subtle. I'm just going to do... Um, gonna use this 
white color as a base and then I'm gonna use this right here and then I'm just gonna use this one right here like to like smoke it out here I'm applying my white eyeshadow from my chocolate bar into my eye just going to pop that in to make the colors that I'm going to use a little bit more brighter than the way they look. And now, you know, just going to use this creamy little beige tone to create a deeper crease because I don't think I would look any way near Selena, especially because of my hair color, but especially because my eyes are so small compared to hers. So I need to create that little depth that she has in them. I know she didn't use eyeshadow, but I have to. And I'm just applying this darker brown on the inner corner and blending that out into my crease. Wow, what a difference. I'm just curling my eyelashes because they are not curly naturally and as always with my age rewind concealer I'm just gonna conceal 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 you know the drill my NYX matte bronzer is a good way to contour without it looking way too streaky or patchy it's just simple and natural compared to other ways to contour. To correct where I went underneath my cheekbones, I'm just concealing those parts with my Asia Rewind and then blending it with my Beauty Blender. Let me just say, Beauty Blenders are amazing. They are a good replacement for buying way too many brushes that you will not need and will not use. This is just amazing. Airspun is my go-to to semi-concealers, as you can tell. And now with this bronzer, I'm just gonna make it look like a blush almost and just blend it towards my contour. And then I'm just going to remove the extra powder on my face with a kabuki brush. And at this point, I'm just fixing my eyebrows by concealing them. And last but not least, you can't forget that liquid liner. I just drag it and then go inwards. This is my eyeliner that I use, and I just apply it on my waterline. Simple as that. And 501 Cocoa I'm Lashes. using Revlon's Precision for the first time ever, and I'm hoping it will last. Sorry about my eye rolling. I was getting a little annoyed because I kept getting background noise. Duo smells like ass. And let's talk about not knowing how to apply lashes on camera, man. I absolutely fell at this, like. Oh, freaking well, though. This is my fell number two. <laughs> Duo smells like culo, duo smells like ass. So I, now I got wrap long. It smells beautiful. Ya no quiero do, ya no quiero lo lo de culo. At this point, I'm just outlining my lips with the next red shade. It looks really creamy, but it's not that way. 
and now with a Revlon actually I think it's a L'Oreal red lipstick I'll list the details below I'm just going over to make it look a lot more redder because Selena signature lip is definitely a red and yes I had my hair done I just put it down at this point I hope you guys like this this is a finishing look hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe and you can always request what you would like to see next.